Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So in my just about decade of helping people organize homes and myself actually getting organized, I've discovered a bunch of like cheats, like cheat codes if you're playing video games that can really help you stay organized and tidy and I'm gonna share those with you today. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. We'll talk a little bit about Skillshare later in the video. All right, the first cheat code is that uniformity is like the biggest cheat to make things look organized. And I'm talking about like uniformity in like having the same hanger in a closet. If you have all these different hangers, it can kind of look really messy, even if your closet's really neat, but all of a sudden, if you get the same, like all the same shape, all the same size, color, material of hanger, it suddenly looks neat and you basically didn't even do anything. Let's also talk about like things like spice jars and uh, things that get decanted, like flour and sugar like that. If you get a matching set of containers or if you get a matching set of spice jars, it can instantly make that spice rack or the spice drawer. I have a spice drawer. I love my spice drawer. Looks so much neater. So uniformity is like my number one biggest OP cheat. Number two, we've got some secret storage. So that drawer underneath your oven could be storage, but you gotta check, you've gotta check. Sometimes it's just a warming drawer or it's, it's actually a, like a second oven. You don't wanna be cooking under there. If you go ahead and open up the oven, you can probably see there's a model number there. In newer ovens, you can actually just take a picture of the QR code and it'll open up instruction manual. You can see whether or not it is extra storage. In our last apartment, it actually was storage and I was so grateful because I, my baking pans had no place to go. So I shoved it underneath the oven and voila, instant storage. Number three, and this one is a big one. The only way to organize mail, I have learned this, is to just open it. Open it and deal with it. I get a lot of requests from clients asking whether or not they can, you know, uh, organize their mail. They need a mail system for like sorting the mail, coming in and organizing the mail. I'm gonna put the mail in this basket and then I'm gonna like put it in this shelf and we're gonna sign it, deal with it and all that stuff and we're gonna pile it up and then we're gonna open it all on Tuesday. No, just when you get home, <laughs> when you open the mailbox, take it all out, open every envelope and just deal with it. You can take five minutes, shred those junk mail stuff you don't need, shred those like catalogs. You know you don't look at catalogs. You know you don't. If you really wanna look at a magazine, just make it a point to like put it next to your bed or something or next to the couch when you're watching TV. Go ahead, browse through that magazine. Or if it's a bill, go ahead, open it up, pay it. It always takes like not as long as you think. Some people will get, get really intimidated by the mail. And I know this because I used to be like this. I used to see like the bill, you know, and I used to say, oh, I don't, I'll do it. I'll just do it later. I'll just do it later. Actually that goes into like one of my other big tips too, but just, just open it now, turn that anxiety into anticipation. There you go. Just, just change the way you think of it. Anxiety, no anticipation i can't wait to open that bill i know no one says that but you gotta just go you're gonna have to deal with it later anyway so might as well just deal with it get it over with get it. it's painful i know just get it over with cheat code number four the floor is a place to store things only deliberately and what i mean by deliberately is i find when i enter clients houses and things are on the floor in the closet or things are on the floor outside if they're like small items we're talking about shoes toys, pens, pencils, those kinds of things. They, that is the death place for items and it is, it's, it's not deliberate, right? So I recommend even in closets to use the floor very deliberately. I don't wanna see a bunch of like shoes just thrown on the floor, little purses and things. The smaller the item is, the more easily it's gonna get lost. I remember I had a closet full of things just thrown on the floor. Just resist it. The floor has to be used very intentionally. Anything that's large, like a suitcase, uh, a very large briefcase, um, can be stored on the floor and it's probably a great thing, but like your shoes and like little tiny bags and things like that, get them off the floor. Free the floor, free the floor. I like freeing the floor anyway, because we have a Roomba and uh, I wanna make sure that the Roomba can get everywhere. So I can't really have anything around on the floor and that is the ultimate piece see if you can get things off the floor it's 
freeing, I promise. Number five cheat code is to declutter on a regular basis. Just cause you did it once, doesn't mean you don't have to do it again. Your life is dynamic, fabulous. You're moving, you're shaking, you're doing all kinds of things. You're buying, your, your life is changing. Maybe that sweater that you loved six months ago is like not your style anymore, or it might not fit, or it's damaged. You need to declutter regularly, either replace it with something you love or clear the space so that you can have clear mind. It does feel really good to do that initial declutter, but I always encourage people, keep going. Like once a season, usually at the end of the season, the end of the season is a great time to declutter because like, let's say it's the end of winter and you've worn all your winter coats and your scarves and your hats and stuff like that. And then you're like, well, I didn't really wear this hat this, sum this uh, summer, <laughs> this spring or, so, oh, the seasons are all blended together. I didn't really wear these gloves this winter. I didn't really wear this hat. I don't like this hat anymore. Then you can like just purge it from your life. And next winter, when you go into next winter, you have all the things you really actually love and need. So don't stop decluttering just because you did it once. Stay on top of it. Stay on top of it. <laughs> and now let's take a break to pay some bills and talk about our sponsor, Skillshare. So obviously one of my favorite things to do is play video games and I love playing video games, reading and learning new skills to make sure that my neuroplasticity stays fluid. So leveling up is one of my favorite things to do in life. So if you wanna level up in your life too, you can learn new skills on Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions can come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including entrepreneurship, cooking, interior design, photography, even scrapbooking. And I love the interior design classes on Skillshare. I think I've talked about this a million times because I love home stuff. I love interior design glasses not that I'm good at interior design but we're getting there we're getting there I am going to like fully design my bookshelf right here I'm looking at it with the help from this awesome class from Havenly I have watched this three times already and it's still one of my favorite classes you can learn all kinds of skills there and you can even share your projects with other users online so you can decorate your shelf and then like upload a picture and other people can comment it's really fun Skillshare is also incredibly affordable when compared to in-person classes or workshops. So if you want to increase your neuroplasticity and stay sharp, the first 1,000 of my subscribers who click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. It's awesome. <laughs> so click the link in the description down below and start exploring your creativity today. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and inspiring creative entrepreneurs everywhere. All right, cheat code number six, the outbox is a game changer. That's right, it's not for just your email, it's not for just your desk, it's also for your home, your home. You should have a dedicated place in your home where things are on their way out. You know, like the, your, your cousin brought over her scarf, she left it there, put it in the box. You just decluttered something from the drawer, put it in the box. Better still, you get bonus points. This is where you get the bonus points, you get the extra levels, you get to like do the extra, you get the bonus level, put it in the car, put it in the car. I know that it's not possible for everyone to have their outbox in their car, like if they don't have a car, let's say, like if you live in an apartment in the city or something, but if your outbox is like the stuff's in the car after you decide to get rid of it, bonus points, bonus points. Cause that way it's already like almost gone. You know, you just, it's almost gone. All you need to do is drive it to the, to the donation center, drop it off, and then you can feel good about your life. Cheat number seven, drawer dividers, will change your life. <laughs> now I am of the school of organization in your home need not involve shopping for organizational products. I love organizational products. I was a container store employee for like seven years. Don't get me wrong, I love the stuff. And a lot of organizing can be done without buying products, right? You just use what you have. However, drawer organizers are usually the only thing I recommend if somebody is asking what should they buy to organize their home because drawer dividers are a game changer. I remember the first time I actually used any drawer dividers and I was like, 
Why wasn't I doing this before? Because without drawer dividers, the stuff is just roaming free in the drawer, rolling around, mingling with one another, and then you can't find anything. It also helps you separate with your eye a lot of the contents and keep them contained. Like you have all your pencils in one corner, all your paper clips in another corner. I love drawer dividers for everyone. No one has said they hated them. I always recommend them. A big tip, if you're buying drawer organizers, let's say you're going to the container store. I mean, let's not lie, you're going to the container store. <laughs> you can actually take the drawer in the store if it's like not heavy, it's not, if it's not heavy and not too much of a burden, or you can cut out a piece of newspaper or craft paper to um, that's the size of the drawer, and then you can put the drawer organizers on there and you can see which ones fit. That's a, that's a good hack for you. That's another cheat code for you. <gasps> Clover has come. He wanted to say hello. This is a clover break. Is he not adorable? Hello. Hello. You're very cute. Okay, organized cheat number eight. Know thyself and thy organizing style. <laughs> Let's be honest, you have to organize for the person you are. If you are the type of person who doesn't like to see stuff out, who just doesn't want to see all the clutter, or stuff that you own. Maybe you wanna get opaque boxes and just hide it all, put a nice little label in front. And if you are like me and you put it away in a box and all of a sudden it doesn't exist, you wanna maybe increase the visibility of the items. That, that's basically how what, contain, what container you choose and how you choose to store things. Some people love open shelving and some people wanna put it in a cabinet and put it away. So know who you are when you organize. If you're the kind of person that's going to put things on a hook instead of putting them on a hanger, install some hooks. Make it easy for yourself. Make it easy to maintain the organization systems that you set up. You don't wanna install a system because you saw it on Pinterest and it looked cute. I mean, maybe it might work for you, but if that's not you at your core and only you know you, you need to set up a system that's going to work for you because you're special. Cheat number nine, do it now. Do it now. Thank you. No, what I mean is minimize procrastinating. If there are some things out and you can put them away in like a minute or two minutes, go ahead and take the opportunity and put them away. I'm telling you, it will take just as much energy to do it later as it does to do it right now. I am the type of person that is organized because they are lazy. I want to chill. I wanna sit on the couch and play Animal Crossing. I wanna play with a dog. I don't wanna spend time tidying up after myself. I wanna do it right now so I don't have to do it later. And that is the key. The, qu the more you stop procrastinating when it comes to putting things back in their homes, the more you will sit back and feel the peace of your house and enjoy it. So do it now. If there's some shoes out, like and they're not in your closet, just put them away. Walk away from this video or take me to, I don't care. And put them away. You'll feel good, I promise. And last but not least, this is gonna help you get to the final boss of home organization. Let go of the guilt. Let go of the guilt. I often hear so many sentiments of, oh, my house is so messy, I must be the worst one. And when I walk in, they're like, oh, I'm so embarrassed, it looks so bad, and I got this from my sister, but I don't really like it, but I don't wanna give it away because she gave it to me as a gift, or I bought this and it cost $200, and I just feel bad for wasting the money. No, no, no. There is enough bad stuff coming from outside. You don't need it coming from inside too. You need to let go of the guilt. Guilt is not gonna help you declutter your home. You just need to let it all go. Don't be, that's the best self-care you can do to yourself is letting it all go. Okay, did you like the video? Are you gonna level up your organizing game? Let me know which tip was your favorite down in a comment below. All right, you guys, Clover and I have to go. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time.